Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make the Aggravation Board Game. Let's get into it. For the game board, I cut three pieces of plywood of different thicknesses. One half inch piece, one quarter inch piece, and one eighth inch piece. Holes for the marbles will be drilled out of the 1 8 inch piece of plywood, so to avoid blowout, I sandwich the 1 8 piece between a scrap piece of half inch and the quarter inch piece. The center of the quarter inch piece will be cut out, so it doesn't matter if I drill into it. I started by drilling through the template, but I figured I would use an awl and pre-mark the holes so I could reuse the template later. The template can be found for free on Steve Ramsey's website, Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I'll leave a link down below. So the weight to sandwich the 1 8 inch piece of plywood was just not enough at all. I had tons of blowout. Unfortunately, the 8 inch plywood was completely ruined, but I'm cool. I'm cool. Not mad at all. Not mad at all. Cool, 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 cool. After purchasing more 1 8 inch plywood, I tried it again, this time sandwiching it between two pieces of 3 quarter inch plywood and screwing them all together. The result was better, but still not great. As you can see, the bottom of the 8th inch plywood ended up a lot better quality than the top layer, which is kind of a bummer because I really wanted that lighter wood look of the top, but I'm just going to go with it at this point. I ended up getting a new piece of quarter inch plywood as well and used the template to mark out the area and cut it out with the jigsaw. After a bunch of hand sanding, I used the template again as a reference to mark out the areas that needed to be colored on the half inch piece of plywood, and painted the areas to coincide with the different colors of the marbles that I purchased. You can purchase sets of marbles specifically for this game with different color variations. I'll leave a link below to the set that I bought. Once the paint was dry, I could glue the three panels together. Now it's time to move on to the frame. I used a piece of rough sawn wood from a pallet box that I got from the trash pile at my local Home Depot. Because it was rough sawn, I started by resawing it on the table saw. I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but it is super heavy and dense. It took a while to resaw it. I cut a channel or rabbit in the four frame pieces to hold the game board. Even with the Nick Offerman sniff test, I still couldn't figure out what kind of wood this is. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments below. Flying mode on. Good enough.
The corners were a little sharp, so I used my router to put a very small chamfer on all the edges. Because of all the small holes, I chose to use spray-on polyurethane for the finish. All right, our board game is finished. Let's go over a few things real quick. I say that a lot. All right, a couple things that I would change if I ever tackled this project again. Number one being this eighth inch plywood in the middle. As you saw, I struggled quite a bit with that. In fact, this is probably, I think the third time that I cut this and it still does not look good. Now, the third time that I did do it, I screwed it between two pieces of three quarter inch plywood. I was using new eighth inch plywood and a new bit and it still tore up the edges quite a bit and i believe it's because of the quality of the plywood all they had at the store was this thin stuff that you use for the backs of furniture pieces and it just chips up really easily i think if i ever did this again i would probably order some good hardwood eighth inch plywood or just use some solid wood and use a coving bit if you have a CNC, you could also use a CNC to carve this out. Another thing that bothers me quite a bit about this is that this game uses marbles for game pieces and dice. And there's no place to put it in this design. I think if I did it again, I would make the back panel uh, thicker than half inch, maybe three quarter inch. And then I could use a router to cut out a pocket in one of these places, you know, felt the inside and then make a little cap there so that all the pieces could fit on the board. That would be really nice. Another thing that I thought of is that you have this whole flat board on the back that you could do something with. Maybe I could wood burn a checkerboard back here or for checkers and chest or something like that. It just seems like a lot of wasted space. So I think I might actually add that to this or if I make another one, I will add it on the back. Despite all the hiccups I ran into, this was still a pretty easy and quick project and it makes a great homemade piece for family game night. I'll make sure to leave a link to the dice and the marbles that I bought in the description below. We work on our new project every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.